If you want to set up your first trapo in Unity version control quickly or you have already tried and were stopped by an error like this, this video is here to help. Let's start by downloading Plastic from the official website and installing it. Plastic is the old name of Unity version control, so I'll use both names in this video, just know it's the same thing. Same, same, but different. Then we have to choose either a simple client or a full version with branches and stuff. The issues we will look at don't have much to do with these clients, so you can still use the video if you choose Gluon, but I'll go with the full version. Now you need to log in with your Unity account, the same you use for Unity Hub. Your repository will be bound to this account, so make sure it's up to date and you have access to its email. Once you're logged in, you can try to create a repo and will most likely see the error in the editor or this in the Unity version control app. Go to Unity Gaming Services and log in with your organization account, the same you just used for a login. You may need to go through some additional steps if you don't have this setup in your account yet. Now go to the dashboard and navigate to DevOps. You need to press this button to start a free trial. Also, you will have to put your credit card data here, even though Plastic has a free version. It's just so Unity can take your money if you break any of the sacred rules of the trial. So yeah, if you go past those limitations, it will not be free anymore. Go to the Unity dashboard, create a new project if you don't already have one, and go to DevOps version control. Here you should select choose server location and select the one closest to you. I believe this is why we were not allowed to create repos, because the server was not selected yet. So now you should finally be able to see that everything started working and you can create repositories. Now, it is very easy to create a whole bunch of projects, repos and workspaces automatically and end up with a mess. So I'll guide you through a process of setting this up as our final step. You can create your repositories in three different ways. The first case is for a new project and a new repo. Open Unity Hub, create a new project and do not create a folder for it as Unity will do this automatically. Choose an organization, tick all the boxes and name your repo. Now that your project is created, you can see this folder has both plastic folder and ignore file. In your Unity version control app, you should see that some files were already uploaded to your repository and Unity is now tracking your local files. In the dashboard, you can see that this section created a whole new project and your repo is located within that project. The second case is when you already have a project and you need to create a repository for it. I will create a project but don't connect it to version control and you should already have one. Open it and then open the plastic tab. You can see that when the repo is created from Unity, project in the dashboard is not created by default, so you either have to choose an existing one or create a new one. Now select it and create a repository. You will see that it already pushed some changes and started tracking the other. Commit some changes and you will see that it is there in the Unity dashboard as well. The third case is creating a repository from Unity version control app. Here you also need to have your project inside Unity dashboard already created to specify it in this window. This will result in an empty repository, so you have to add your project code manually. And here is an important thing. If you try to create a new Unity project in that same folder, it will end up making you a new folder inside the already existing one and will create another repo if you try to connect it to Unity version control. So this is the mess I ended up with. Don't do it like this and instead just move the code into your app or use one of the previous options. Right now you should be able to start working on your project, so leave a like to make sure more people find this, subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this, and if you want to see more videos on Unity version control, please let me know in the comments. Good luck on your game dev path and I'll meet you in the next one.